Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra and today in Shiksha Mantra we have a discussion on English grammar. But before we sit to our discussion, let me ask you something. You might uh, notice it that uh, I have my hair cut. So I am looking a bit queer because uh, you may see the haircut is of uh, different type. It's not a very stylish. But the fact is I have my hair cut. So that's a fact and I have produced the fact in this particular way. Now let me ask you one thing. Can you tell me whether this is an active sentence or it's in passive voice? Yes, dear friends, that's the question. And with this question, we will start our discussion on have passive in Shiksha Mantra. So let's begin our discussion. But before we begin, it's time for you to go to the comment section and write down what's your option. It's active or passive. So let's begin. Yes, dear friends, here, if you look at this sentence, I have my hair cut. Normally, try to find out the verbs first, but before we start it, it's better for us to get rid of these two words, active and passive, for now they are not of any use for us. But the fact is, when we try to find out, we'll get that here have and cut, these two are the verbs. So it's a conjugation, have cut. Now, you will tell me, so this is in present perfect tense. So that means it has a relation with perfect. Yes, dear friends, it's in present perfect tense and as you know the active structure for present perfect is have plus verb in past participle form whereas it's a passive structure is have plus been plus verb in past participle form so this is the passive structure now you will decide that this is not an act passive sentence it's a it's not a passive sentence rather this is an active sentence yes dear friends most of the times most of the students most of the users of english language as their second language make this mistake why because it's not all about structure remember dear friends a sentence is produced for the sense of sense or expression so sense or expression is also very very important if you look at this sentence i have my hair cut and uh, if try to find out what's there rather i'll put here another sentence uh, so that it will be easy for you to compare if i say i have cut my hair now just have a compare of both the sentences just compare them here also we get have cut this is the verb and it's also in present perfect but where lies the difference the difference is there here i is the subject of the sentence and in both the cases i is the subject but when I say I have cut my hair, that means I is the doer, that is the subject is the doer, hence we call it active. We have a detailed uh, discussion regarding uh, this doer and receiver. So when you say I have cut my hair, here I is the subject as well as the doer, that means it's active, the subject is active. 
if you haven't checked that uh, discussion i'll put the uh, link in the i button above from there you can check this how to decide whether a sentence is active or passive but here in the first scenario if we consider the case one i have my hair cut i have my hair cut so it means you have it so you haven't cut it here the subject i is not the doer rather i is the receiver of the action so what it actually means it means i have engaged someone or employed someone obviously it's a paid action engaged someone to cut my hair so what we get from this sentence here i haven't cut my hair rather i have engaged someone who had the hair cut for me so here i the subject is not the doer rather the receiver that means this is passive and not active it looks like present perfect but this is not active this is passive so uh, to make it clear let us have some more sentences with which uh, we can have a detailed discussion of uh, what is have passive so if i take another sentence and this time the sentence is i have my car washed so here you have your car washed i have my car washed subject is there then have and then comes the object and then comes the verb in past participle form so here it means i have taken my car to the garage and there they have washed it i haven't done it myself so this is again a passive sentence and the sense of the passiveness comes from this verb have that's why we call such sentences have passive yes dear friends we have already discussed get passive if you haven't checked it obviously the link is there in the i button above from where you can check what is get passive and how we use it actually in english grammar you get several such passiveness sometimes with get sometimes with have and here get passive and have passive do they have any difference or they are the same where to we use get passive and where to use have passive we'll have a detailed discussion on them as well in the latter part of the video but now our focus will remain on the passive nature of some sentences in present perfect active structure yes dear friends this is passive but here we must remember the structure that is used here it's not a conventional passive structure rather this is a conventional active structure yes dear friends there's the confusion it looks like active but it is passive passive for the sense of have so here simply you can say that washed is not actually a verb rather it is used somehow as a, an adjective yes dear friends that's why we have to consider this sentence as passive but the basic difference that we have to find out when i say i have my car washed we have uh, produced this sentence let me write it once again i have my car washed and we have said that this is passive it is have passive so here we may use a similar sentence uh, with the construction i have 
washed my car. Now we have to compare these two sentences to get a clear idea of what is have passive. How to find out if the sentence is in present perfect construction, obviously active. How we can determine whether this is an active sentence or a passive sentence. For this, here we have this comparison. Just compare this in both the cases the subject remains the same i uh, let's change the color then you have used have here and then my car and that's obviously an object and then you have used the main verb with past participle form and if we consider what happens in the in this sentence in the second sentence here also we have used have and after the word have actually here we have verb in past participle form and then we have used the object car so there lies the basic difference have plus object plus verb in past participle it suggests this perfect construction it can be present perfect it can be past perfect it can be future perfect but this perfect construction where object is used in the middle of have and the verb in past participle form this is actually a passive construction but as we get subject have then verb plus past participle and then comes the object this is obviously an active construction so there lies the difference the difference is there in the construction as well you have to find out where is the difference this is very much important the construction of the sentence will tell you whether this is passive or active okay so this is how we can find out and use have passive yes dear friends most of the time you get confused now uh, let's uh, uh, find out some more sentences with uh, this have passive uh, suppose here i have produced another sentence i have roof repaired i have my roof repaired here also the same same formula uh, used that is have then comes the object and then verb plus past participle so this is how we can produce passive sentences which looks active and obviously it's done in present perfect tense now comes another point here every time we have discussed it we have actually produced some assertive sentences now what happens if there's an interrogative sentence that we have to produce with passiveness in perfect construction here you have to understand that this have it's not the have repaired or the normal present perfect construction so here have is actually a do verb yes dear friends you must fill it here have is actually a do verb that means here we can break it as do plus have do plus have we have this construction here do plus have so for interrogative we can simply use do for the interrogatives we can simply use do i have my roof repaired so this is also a sentence with have verb 
that suggests passiveness yes dear friends this is also a passive sentence here also i will get the same passiveness in this sentence this one is in obviously this one is in assertive form and here we have the interrogative form so that's how we can produce interrogative passive sentences actually interrogative have passive sentences now it's time for us to find out that question which we have promised to discuss here in this video so what was that that was regarding get passive yes dear friends is there any difference between get and have passive sentences that's the question we will fetch here so what will happen if i say i got my car washed or if i produce the same sentence as i had my car washed actually there's no difference in between these two sentences you can use either get or have passive whatever is applicable but if you have really checked what i have said in the get passive there i have clearly told you that get can be used for both formal and also for informal situations so get is a huge huge option get passive it can be used for both formal sentences and informal sentences but when it comes to have passive you must remember that this is principally used in colloquial sentences yes dear friends here when you are using have passive it means it's colloquial it's very much informal i had my car washed you can't produce this in any formal situations so when you have to put a formal sentence you would say i got my car washed so there's the difference between get passive and have passive the difference is not huge rather the difference is there and uh, it's a uh, it's it's very important for you to understand the difference and use it accordingly so dear friends we have come to the end of our discussion this is all about have passive and here let me thank you for your patience to watch and learn something so we'll stop here our discussion has been ended and now it's time for us to say bye bye happy learning